Tesla is once again making waves in the EV industry with the latest news about the Cybertruck that could redefine our understanding of electric vehicles. The buzz is all about bi-directional charging, a feature that could allow the Cybertruck to charge not just itself, but other Teslas as well. The Cybertruck might just become the most popular kid on the block, with all the other Teslas lining up for a juice boost, but we're not going to spill the beans just yet. In other electrifying news, Tesla has unveiled the Cyberquad for kids, a scaled-down version of their enigmatic all-terrain vehicle. Now your kids can zip around the backyard pretending to be on a Mars mission while you're stuck doing the dishes. But wait, there's more. The Cybertruck production line is reportedly in full swing, with new details about this electric pickup truck emerging that suggest Tesla is on the brink of something truly extraordinary. Images from the production line hint that the launch of the Cybertruck is closer than we think. So how exactly does this bi-directional charging work, and how could it potentially charge other Teslas? When can we expect the release of the much-anticipated Cybertruck? Stay tuned as we delve into these thrilling developments and more in this video. Tesla has confirmed that future models will incorporate bi-directional charging, a revelation that has sparked curiosity among Tesla enthusiasts. The specific model to receive this feature, and the type of bi-directional charging it would offer, are subjects of speculation. Interestingly, a caption in Tesla's coloring book available at service centers states, Cybertruck has enough battery power to charge a Tesla. Although seemingly trivial, this statement has ignited excitement among Tesla fans. The caption suggests the possibility of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle charging, indicating that the Cybertruck may support charging other Teslas. However, it may not offer the complete suite of vehicle-to-load, vehicle-to-home, and vehicle-to-grid capabilities. Recently, at a Cars & Coffee event at the Peterson Automotive Museum in LA, Tesla's chief designer Franz von Holzhausen arrived in a Cybertruck, giving enthusiasts a close look at it. A Twitter video revealed a small opening in the bed, potentially designed for a socket. This indicates that the production version of the Cybertruck may include a 120V or 240V socket, enabling users to charge external appliances or even another electric vehicle. Notably, rival electric trucks like the Ford F-150 Lightning already offer bi-directional charging capabilities. The Ford truck features ProPower on board, which includes standard 120V outlets and an optional 240V socket, offering a charging rate of up to 9.6 kilowatts. In a demonstration last year, a Lightning owner fully charged a stranded Mini Cooper SE while retaining over 200 miles of remaining range. The Cybertruck's battery size is reported to be around 100 kilowatt hours, as suggested in Tesla's Master Plan Part 3. However, there are doubts about whether this capacity would be sufficient for a heavy-duty truck. Competitors such as the Rivian R1T and Ford F150 Lightning offer battery packs of 130 kilowatt hour or more, raising the possibility of an even larger battery capacity for the Cybertruck. In response to a Twitter user's query in 2021, CEO Elon Musk hinted at the Cybertruck's battery potentially powering homes, further fueling speculation about its bi-directional charging capabilities. With its reported battery size of around 100 kilowatt hour, the Cybertruck is an ideal candidate for vehicle to load and bidirectional charging. Additionally, its off-road and towing capabilities position it well for use as an EV-specific recovery vehicle. The practical implications of these features will become apparent when the Cybertruck is rumored to launch in late 2023. While other manufacturers like BYD, Hyundai, Kia, and Nissan already offer vehicle-to-load and vehicle-to-home capabilities, charging another electric vehicle using their 120 volts or 240 volts AC power supplies, which top out at 3.6 kilowatts, is not particularly practical. In contrast, Ford's F-150 Lightning offers up to 9.6 kilowatt of power through its 240V Pro Power onboard feature sufficient for charging another EV, albeit at a slower rate. Rivian has also promised bidirectional charging capabilities. If Tesla effectively implements features like bidirectional charging, it may challenge Ford's Jim Farley's notion that the Cybertruck lacks practical appeal. By offering advanced charging capabilities and tapping into its large battery capacity, the Cybertruck could prove to be a versatile and highly functional electric truck. Bidirectional charging offers several benefits for EV owners. Firstly, it can lead to potential savings on energy use. By utilizing smart charging technology, which manages the timing and allocation of energy, EV owners can optimize their charging process. They can set their vehicles to charge during off-peak hours or when renewable energy sources are available, taking advantage of lower energy costs. 
This stored energy can then be used to power their homes or businesses during the day, reducing reliance on the grid and lowering utility costs. Furthermore, bidirectional charging with vehicle-to-grid technology allows EV owners to sell excess energy back to the utility company. This not only contributes to a more efficient use of energy, but can also provide additional savings. A study conducted by the University of Rochester found that V2G chargers can save EV owners approximately $120 to $150 per year. In addition to cost savings, bidirectional charging can provide a reliable backup power source during power outages. Known as vehicle-to-home charging, this feature allows the EV battery to supply electricity to a home or business while the utility company conducts repairs. With the typical electric car battery holding around 60 kilowatt hours of electricity, it can power a home for approximately two days, offering peace of mind and uninterrupted power supply. Moreover, bi-directional charging can turn the EV into a portable power source. This means that in situations such as camping trips or on-the-job scenarios, the EV battery can be used to power appliances or equipment. It can even be used to provide energy for another vehicle if needed. The inclusion of bi-directional charging capabilities in the Tesla Cybertruck could revolutionize the way EV owners interact with their vehicles. By harnessing the power of smart charging technology, users can maximize their energy efficiency, save money on utility bills, and have a reliable backup power source at their disposal. The Cybertruck's potential to charge external appliances or other electric vehicles through its bed socket opens up new possibilities for mobile and versatile power usage. As Tesla continues to innovate in the EV market, bidirectional charging represents another step forward in creating a sustainable and interconnected energy ecosystem. Up next, Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck for kids in China, and it sold out in hours. After the revealing of the Cybertruck in 2019, Tesla surprised the world with an addition to its lineup which is the Cyberquad, an all-terrain vehicle that looked just as bizarre as its bigger brother. Safety was a top priority for Tesla CEO Elon Musk and he vowed to build the safest ATV by making it really hard to roll. However, the Cyberquad faced an unfortunate fate as it failed to gain traction and eventually faded into obscurity. Instead of giving up on the concept, Tesla decided to take a different approach. The company introduced a toy replica in the US, aptly named the Cyberquad 4 Kids. This smaller version retained the unique design of its larger counterpart, but was adapted in size and performance to suit younger riders. Priced at $1,900, it sold an impressive 5,000 units within a year. Unfortunately, safety concerns ultimately led to its discontinuation in October of last year, leaving the fate of the Cyberquad uncertain. However, Tesla has now set its sights on the Chinese market and is making another attempt with the Cyberquad for kids. On July 14th, the highly anticipated launch took place at the Chinese Tesla shop, generating significant buzz on local social media networks. The demand was so overwhelming that within a few hours of sales commencing at 10 a.m. local time, the kiddie version of the Cyberquad was completely sold out. The Chinese version of the Cyberquad retains the identical design of the U.S. version, as it is produced by the same company in China. However, there are slight differences in specifications. The range of the Chinese version is slightly lower, covering approximately 13 kilometers compared to the 24 kilometers of its U.S. counterpart. The Li on battery boasts a capacity of 188 watt hour, providing about an hour and a half of exhilarating fun according to the specifications listed in the Tesla shop. Designed for children aged 8 to 12, the Cyberquad supports a maximum load of 50 kilograms. It offers two cruising speeds, allowing young riders to choose between 4 kilometers per hour and 8 kilometers per hour, ensuring a safe riding experience. With a maximum power output of 350 watts, Similar to an electric scooter, the Cyberquad delivers an enjoyable and thrilling ride. However, with a weight of 48.5 kilograms, it is advisable to be on top of the Cyberquad rather than underneath it. Tesla is optimistic that the Cyberquad will find greater success in the Chinese market compared to its US venture. People familiar with China's regulations have indicated that the Cyberquad for kids should be road legal in the country. However, the limited speed of the ATV could potentially pose a safety risk when sharing the road with other vehicles. The introduction of the Cyberquad in China signifies Tesla's commitment to the market. In recent years, CEO Elon Musk has made significant efforts to establish a strong presence in China. Musk's dedication was further demonstrated when he signed a letter pledging Tesla's commitment to China's core socialist values, making Tesla the only foreign automaker among 15 companies to do so. China represents a significant portion of Tesla's annual sales and is the company's second largest market outside of the United States. 
With the successful launch of the CyberQuad for kids in China, Tesla is once again showcasing its innovative approach and commitment to providing enjoyable and safe experiences for young riders. The CyberQuad's unique design, adjustable suspension, and various safety features, including rear disc braking and LED light bars, make it an exciting addition to Tesla's lineup. As Tesla continues to expand its presence in the Chinese market, the company remains focused on delivering high-quality electric vehicles and redefining the future of transportation for all ages. Up next, Tesla Cybertruck production line is moving as new details about the electric pickup emerge. Exciting new images from Tesla's Cybertruck production line at Giga Texas have surfaced, providing a closer look at the electric pickup's development. Earlier this week, two Cybertruck bodies in white were spotted on a pallet, showcasing Tesla's advancements since a previous leak that showed a makeshift structure typical for a prototype. The latest images offer a clearer view of the rear mega casting, which appears to be made up of several stamped parts as well as front and rear mega castings. While it's uncertain whether the firewall is stamped or part of the front mega casting, the rear structure rules out the possibility of a mid gate to access the vault. Notably, the body in white seen in the images was placed on a dolly cart, with other Cybertrucks visible in the background on the production line. These images confirm that pilot production is already underway, and Tesla is making swift progress towards release candidate production. Additionally, the images reveal that the Cybertruck's production has permanently shifted from the pilot line in Fremont to its rightful home in Austin, Texas. The structural design of the Cybertruck is noteworthy. The stamped side panels, front and rear mega castings, and absence of a floor in the body indicate that the Cybertruck shares similarities with the larger Model Y. This contrasts with Elon Musk's previous claims of an exoskeleton-based design. Some truck enthusiasts have expressed disappointment in the structural battery pack, considering it a weak point for a work truck. Without proper reinforcements, the battery would be the sole component keeping the truck sections together during towing, potentially limiting its towing capacity. In terms of production capacity, Tesla is poised to exceed current Wall Street estimates. Analyst Gary Black suggests that Tesla will be able to manufacture Cybertrucks at a much faster rate than anticipated, potentially reaching up to 375,000 annual production once ramped up. This projection is based on disclosed communications between Tesla management and suppliers, as well as the reported 1.8 million Cybertruck pre-orders. However, it's important to note that not all pre-orders are guaranteed to be fulfilled, as customers only need to pay a $100 reservation fee and the actual price of the Cybertruck is expected to be higher than Elon Musk's initial $40,000 starting tag mention. Analysts estimate the pricing to range between $60,000 and $70,000, leaving uncertainty regarding how many reservations will ultimately translate into sales. The latest images from the Cybertruck production line at Giga Texas provide a glimpse into the progress Tesla is making towards the highly anticipated electric pickups release. Tesla's production ramp for the highly anticipated Cybertruck is poised to reach an impressive 375,000 units per year, according to forecasts by analysts. This ambitious number is a testimony to the novel design and build materials of the Cybertruck, as well as the substantial quantity of 4,680 batteries that will be required. Tesla is actively working on significantly increasing its production of these batteries, with plans for a 100 gigawatt hours expansion at its Giga Nevada facility, as well as the establishment of new facilities in Austin and Fremont. One notable addition to Tesla's production capabilities is its newest Gigafactory in Mexico, which is expected to not only supply Cybertruck parts, but potentially even batteries. This development highlights Tesla's dedication to expanding its global footprint and streamlining its supply chain. The exact extent of Mexico's contribution to the Cybertruck production remains to be seen, but it could play a crucial role in meeting the anticipated demand. A key aspect of Tesla's battery strategy is the in-house production of the 4,680 batteries. Unlike previous electric vehicle batteries used by Tesla, the 4,680 is manufactured internally. The company's Fremont facility is playing a pivotal role in supporting the production of these batteries in preparation for the highly awaited Cybertruck's release scheduled for late 2023. While the 4,680 batteries have already been in production at other Tesla facilities, the new Fremont location will significantly contribute to ramping up output in the coming years. The expansion of battery cell production at the Fremont facility not only benefits Tesla's electric vehicle production, but also has positive implications for job creation. The growing Tesla campus in Fremont is generating employment opportunities in the region, particularly in the engineering and manufacturing sectors, 
This underscores Tesla's commitment to fostering local economic growth and supporting the communities in which it operates. Moreover, increasing battery cell production in North America aligns with the incentives provided by the Inflation Reduction Act. By meeting specific battery, sourcing, and assembly requirements, Tesla's expanded production capacity qualifies more of its electric vehicles, including the Cybertruck, for the full clean vehicle credit. This regulatory advantage further encourages Tesla's investment in battery production and reinforces its commitment to sustainable transportation. Overall, Tesla's efforts to boost its 4,680 battery production, expand its production facilities, and optimize its supply chain demonstrate the company's determination to meet the growing demand for its electric vehicles, particularly the highly anticipated Cybertruck. Up next, with the Cybertruck, Tesla faces its Edsel moment. Tesla's highly anticipated Cybertruck is set to make its debut soon, and it has the potential to become as iconic as the company's Model 3. This advanced electric vehicle could shape the future of the automotive industry, propelling Tesla to new heights or potentially becoming Elon Musk's equivalent of the infamous Edsel. The Edsel, named after Edsel Ford, was a major failure in the automotive world. Introduced by Ford Motor in 1958, it was a brand rather than a single car and faced weak demand, negative reviews, and a lackluster customer response. Ford eventually discontinued the Edsel in late 1959 as it failed to find a market niche and struggled during a period when customers were seeking more fuel-efficient options. However, the Cybertruck is poised for success in a different market. The full-size pickup truck segment is substantial and robust, accounting for approximately 15% of total U.S. light vehicle sales. In fact, six out of the top 11 most shopped for vehicles listed by Cox Automotive in 2022 were pickup trucks. The Cybertruck's price range of $40,000 to $70,000 positions it competitively within the mainstream truck market. Despite inflation, with new model year 2023 pickup trucks averaging around $64,000, the Cybertruck remains an attractive option. Even the average transaction price for the new 2023 F-150 Lightning is nearly $87,000. The Cybertruck sets itself apart not only in terms of market potential, but also through its cutting-edge technology and unique design. Elon Musk describes the vehicle's design as exoskeleton-based, which Corey Steuben, president of Monroe & Associates, explains to be a unibody design. Unlike most trucks that have a body-on-frame construction, where the car body is placed on a separate chassis, the Cybertruck integrates the chassis and frame together. This unibody design enhances the vehicle's strength while reducing weight. As a result, the Cybertruck offers increased efficiency and longer range per unit of battery capacity, a crucial aspect for an electric vehicle. In addition to its innovative design, the Cybertruck is expected to feature groundbreaking technology. One notable feature is its capability to accept 1 megawatt direct current charging, enabling fast charging with hundreds of miles of range delivered in minutes. This feature sets the Cybertruck apart from its competitors and positions it as a front-runner in the electric truck market. While the Cybertruck's market potential, technology, and efficiency are evident, its design has received mixed reviews. Some critics liken it to something out of a mediocre science fiction film. However, Gary Black, co-founder of Future Fund Active ETF and Tesla shareholder, believes that the design works in Tesla's favor. He sees the Cybertruck as a rolling billboard for the company, capturing attention and establishing Tesla's unique brand identity. As Tesla prepares to unveil the Cybertruck, the anticipation grows. This electric pickup truck represents a pivotal moment for the company, with the potential to redefine the automotive industry. Its combination of market viability, cutting-edge technology, and distinctive design positions the Cybertruck as a game-changing vehicle. The success or failure of the Cybertruck will soon be determined as Tesla takes its next step towards revolutionizing the truck market and solidifying its place in the electric vehicle landscape. Moreover, increasing battery cell production in North America aligns with the incentives provided by the Inflation Reduction Act. By meeting specific battery, sourcing, and assembly requirements, Tesla's expanded production capacity qualifies more of its electric vehicles, including the Cybertruck, for the full clean vehicle credit. This regulatory advantage further encourages Tesla's investment in battery production and reinforces its commitment to sustainable transportation. Overall, Tesla's efforts to boost its 4,680 battery production, expand its production facilities, and optimize its supply chain demonstrate the company's determination to meet the growing demand for its electric vehicles, particularly the highly anticipated Cybertruck.